What's up everybody, it's Drew, also known as KU Kid 99 and today is a very special day because finally it's basketball season. And so I'm on my way to historic Allen Fieldhouse for an exhibition game between the Ford Hayes State Tigers and the Kansas Jayhawks. This will be fun. It's great to be back in the Fieldhouse again for another season. Last season we went undefeated at home and now we can continue that streak of winning at the fog. So this will be good. Plus we're number three in the country and it's surprisingly not that cold out. So I'm still in shorts as you can see. But yeah, hopefully this thing goes well. We'll be standing in line Hopefully getting a spot in the good old student section. So, let go! I just got here in the nick of time because the student section line has officially started to pile. So, hopefully we can get in line before everything else happens. So got in, it's been about 20 minutes or so. I've ripped up the newspaper, and yeah, this is going to be fun. And we just sit and wait, because we got another hour before everything starts up again. So, yeah, having a blast, just sitting here, doing nothing. Of course, I had to get myself some food. Yeah, I'm hungry. A little sloppy in the first half, but hopefully the second turns out a little bit better. 36-25, Kansas. A little shaky, but kind of figured they would do that well. So, yeah. That's a Butterfinger! first person to foul.
anyway, that is a wrap on the game tonight. Um, KU won 86 56. And um, getting out of traffic because there's a couple cops around here. So, but yeah, they won. Um, and I'm going to get myself food. And when I get back, I will introduce a new segment, which I like to call KE Review. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm back after I got my food. And now here is the KU Review. Now, how this is going to work is. I just tried to make my thing sit there. But anyway, so how this review is going to work, I'm going to give you, well, actually. Let's get this off and let's get this out. So first things first is that the review is going to be basically one thing that I thought was good about it. Like there's a positive side of this and then there's the negative. And then I'm going to give my little interpretation on who I thought was the player of the game and who needs to improve. So uh, my first thing is the positives is that we did good re rebounding the ball on both sides. We out-rebounded them, which we kind of knew going in that we were going to do, but... Out rebounding him was huge. Uh, I think we won the rebounding game by 11. Um, winning is, I mean, a positive, so, but that's any time that happens. But big positive came out was by the rebounding. The negative side of it was free throws. 9 of 19 from the free throw line is not good, especially for a team from the Big 12 who's this high caliber. You can't shoot 9 of 19 from the free throw line at almost at any time. So I think that is the big thing that they need to work on in practice. Free throws is big, and you can't shoot 9 of 19 from there. Um, now on to the player who player or players who I thought did extremely well in the game. Um, I don't know if it's my, my opinion on this, but Ochai Abaji did really well. He had a near 20-point game, um, which is the first in a while, so I think he had 19 for the game. Um, one who needs to improve, and it, always, and it doesn't surprise me, but he didn't do as hot as we thought he would. But Yudoka Azabuki, who is the preseason Big 12 Player of the Year, and um, he needs to do a little bit better on not the defensive side. The defensive side, he did extremely well. It's the offensive side, and it happens every time. Any big guy that's over seven foot, these teams from the Division Two in the exhibition games always do this. So. Um, you know, it's always the next step and improving and getting yourself in a routine and all that stuff. And he didn't do hot from the free throw line either, and that was another big factor. He did make one, but he only having five points in the game was a little bit of a struggle. Um, but anyway, KU got the win, 86-56. Um, but yeah, so that is the end of the video. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, push that notification bell, and um, hopefully we can do this again next week for the Halloween episode, which would be against Pittsburgh State. Again, the final score, Kansas 86, Fort Hayes State 56, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, never ever bring strippers to the field house. Peace.